In a way, Les Moonves essentially has sued his boss. Absolutely, <laughs> he has. And look, they're saying that they don't want to be forced into this merger. Interestingly, though, NAI came out yesterday and said that there were economic terms agreed on this deal a few weeks ago. So that's interesting because they've apparently agreed these terms and now they've come out and said, actually, we don't want to do the deal. So interesting, Sherry Redstone has come out and said that she thinks it's because she raised some concerns yeah. about a director who she, she said was bullying and intimidating towards her. If this is defend one director. Is that but the interesting thing to me is, it's all going to get decided right quick. I mean, this is Chancery Court in Delaware. They go in next week, and the court's going to rule one way or the other. It's yeah. a temporary restraining order they're seeking. Exactly. And so tomorrow there's a hearing, um, and then they come back on Thursday as well. It will get decided quickly, but whether the deal happens is a big question now, because they have come out and said they really don't want to do this deal on these terms. So if the court rules against them, you would think that Viacom would probably get to do it on their terms. Well, and in fairness to Les, I don't know if we have the chart to put up here, if you look at the Viacom yes. stock compared to the CBS stock, since they split, because we have to remember these companies were originally together, yes. you know, the comparison is really remarkable, because Les's stock has gone way up, Viacom's has gone nowhere. Absolutely, and Les has done a terrific job, like nobody questions that, obviously, and he would have been the CEO of a joint company. Um, but Sherry Redstone offered him that. I mean, he's, he gets to be the CEO. Yeah, he would have got to be the CEO, but he still doesn't think, they don't think that it's in the best interest of all of their shareholders. And what it's going to come down to in court is whether they can issue this extra additional stock to be able to dilute NAI's uh, Yeah, to be clear, NAI power. has the overwhelming voter control, but there's two yes. classes of stock. They yes. don't have the overwhelming economic control. I think they only have like 20% of the yeah, economic so interest. Exactly. So what they're trying to do is reduce their voting control from 80% to about 17%. However, NAI says that the clause that they're referring to, uh, that they've misinterpreted it, and actually you can only uh, issue like-for-like -like stocks. So in the dividend, they can only issue NAI more A stock and the other shareholders more B stock. So it wouldn't yeah. actually change the dynamics. Yeah, simply put, what CBS is proposing is we're just going to give as a dividend shares to the people yeah. who don't have the voting to give them a lot more votes. Exactly. <laughs> they're doing. At the same time, uh, to, to personalize this, doesn't Les win either way because uh, under his contract he gets paid $150 million in a, bl a block sum if he gets yep. fired. Yep. Uh, and, and by the way, there are reports out there that actually it would be more like $280 million, including yes. all the stock and the incentives. So, you know, either he wins the lawsuit, in which he gets his way and gets to keep running the company, or he loses, he gets fired, and he gets $280 million. That's not bad. It's not bad for him, but what about the shareholders? And that's the question, because as, as you say, the share prices come down since these discussions started. This has been going on for a, a several years now. And Les had thought that maybe he could do a deal with a Verizon. I mean, Verizon came and had talked about perhaps merging. And one of the allegations is that Sherry Redstone actually told Verizon not to do it. Exactly. So, but she says, <laughs> my sources on her side are saying that she didn't say don't do it. Yeah. She just said, let's just do this first. Because if she were to sell either CBS or Viacom out of NAI, then NAI would be, uh, would have to bear a massive tax burden, which is what they don't want. So what they would want to do, well, rather do is merge those two and then maybe sell NAI, NAI so altogether. So a telenovela in a the telenovela, broadcasting. Basically a CBS daytime show.